How would you like to spend your time listening to artists' music, coming up with dope ideas to get their music heard and making money at the same time? Well, that's exactly how I've built my career in music. If you don't know me, my name is Brand Man Sean. In this video, I'm going to break down how I actually went about that path of building a successful music marketing career. And if you're interested, how you can do the same. Because at this point, I've had the opportunity to do some really cool things. Having great moments like a Billboard number one with an artist by the name of 24K Golden, we were number one for multiple weeks over songs like Cardi B's WAP, featuring Meg Thee Stallion, Drake's Laugh Now Cry Later, The Weeknd's Blinding Lights, BTS's Dynamite, so many songs, but this is only one of many moments we've been able to create for artists going viral. Helping break their music, coming up with creative ideas, touching so many artists' lives, allowing them to get their music heard, whether it's through Spotify, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. And it's artists of all genres, whether it's hip hop, country, indie pop, EDM, I've helped them all. And I could scroll forever talking about the cool moments I've had with artists, but before I was this guy who had the opportunity to help artists get attention for their music, come up with really cool creative concepts that are impacting culture and getting invited to speak at all types of events as a marketing and branding expert in the music industry, I was this guy, a freshman in college, making music with my friends all the time, doing whatever I could to just be around music. I just had to be around it. So whether it was going to shows, helping friends set up creative events for their music, being in their music videos, scouting locations for their photos, or being a character in some of their projects, it was all fun. I just loved to soak up that creative energy. Nothing felt even close to what I felt and how cool it was to just listen to music, be around other people who enjoy music and want to see a creative vision come out to the world. And that's what I did all throughout college, even though I was majoring in computer science and computer information systems. It was just natural. I can't even explain it from rapping for fun to picking up the guitar. I was always up to something. But after college, I just did what my family wanted. I wasn't some music industry prodigy. I didn't go into music at all. I got my computer information systems degree. And interesting enough, I literally never thought of an actual career in music. All I thought about after college was, hey, stability. I want a comfortable, stress-free life. Let me go get this money. And that's what I did. My family was proud. Everything was all good until I began to feel stuck. Thinking there had to be something more exciting for myself out there than this. Something that was more me. Because to start, I had to wear a suit every single day to work. And that was not my thing. Don't get me wrong, I love a good suit every once in a while, but every single day as a uniform, I really couldn't take it. So I started in my free time again, figuring out how to be around music. Started helping out my friends who were artists, DJs, market themselves, get attention, build their audience, sell merch, set up house parties, do real life pop-ups in the middle of the street with my friend hopping out of a U-Haul and interviewing people on the streets. I had to keep my creative juices going. But at the same time, I kept working that job because this music thing, this creative stuff, I still to this point never even thought of doing it for a living. I just had no idea where money came from. It just seemed like those people never made money and I didn't grow up with money. So a career not making money wasn't an option for me. But boy, did I love what I was doing. So I kept working on the side until eventually I figured it out. Every time my friends came to me needing my help, it was something like, I need more people to listen to my music, more people to show up to my event, more people to buy my merch, more people to follow me on Instagram or YouTube. These folks needed marketing. And for some reason for me, once I was able to put it together like that, I realized, oh, there's a legitimate opportunity in this space because there's a whole degree in marketing and there's entire marketing departments at these major corporations. So it was clear that there's a career somewhere here. And instead of just helping my friends out, I began to position myself as somebody who actually likes to market for artists and helps them on the business side of things. 
leading me to all types of dope experiences where I made money and I didn't have to wear a suit, and creating one of the largest underground music experiences in my city, bringing out artists like Cody Shane, Digital Nas X, and Ruby Rose, who were at the time hot up and coming artists. And it was great because I started making real money. And man, I can't tell you how good it felt. I was like, this moment is finally, finally here. But I was still working on the side. And for me, in my experience, my nine to five job began to feel like prison. It was great that I started to do all these cool things on the side, but at some point I began to look at it like, why can't all my life be this way? Does it have to just be a break from my nine to five job? Because the way I saw things is in prison, they have something called yard time where you're able to go outside. But just because you have this free space, it doesn't mean that you're no longer in prison because you still have to go back. So you might be outside, but you're still in prison. So I quit and built a full life in music, helping more artists get their music heard and create more moments like what you saw earlier. But before I go any further, I want to tell you the story of Jacori, a rapper turned very successful music marketer. But back then when he was rapping, he didn't even know he was going to be a music marketer. If you look at the name on this bad picture right here, you'll read Savage Intuition. Jacori's the guy on the left. This is before he had the locks. You couldn't tell him that he wasn't going to be a popping rapper one day. Graduated high school, he was still into the music. Rapper, producer on top of that now, until he realized, I don't want to be a rapper. Because one day, he had his first true stage performance and had stage fright and realized, yo, this isn't for me. I don't want to be that guy. Living it up, having a good time like college students do, until... Crazy enough, senior year, he gets kicked out of college. Now, I don't have time to get into details right here, but even crazier, the college actually kicked him out by mistake. Either way it goes, he was out of luck and he had to go back home down south. And while he was in this space of figuring life out, he had an epiphany. I love music and I don't have to be a rapper to work in music. So he started to be around the industry. Only problem is he needed some money. He couldn't use college as an excuse. He wanted to get up out the house, but that was gonna mean having to pay some serious bills. So he worked every job that he could. Going from space to space, trying to figure out how can I make a career out of this music thing? And as you can see from the very beginning, Ja'Cory was far more aware that music could be a career than I was and was intentional and logical about how he analyzed everything that he did. And he ran through nine different positions in the process because number one, he knew he liked to rap, but he was uncomfortable with the public figure side of being a successful rapper. He tried producing and actually made a little money there, but he didn't want to sit around a computer all day. He found being a social media manager boring. All he did was put up a couple of tweets and post. On top of that, there was no money in it. Being a publicist was a cool job because he got to learn a lot, but he had to be at events all the time and didn't want to go around hopping from event to event. And that ended up being his entire life. Being a blogger and journalist was really cool though because he got to listen to music, right? He got to stay up to date with all the cool things and next things and see those people blow up because he was one of the first people on it, but there was no real money in being a music journalist. So then he tried being an artist manager and he really did not like babysitting. Most people who say they don't wanna be an artist manager say it because they don't like to babysit having to tell another grown individual when to wake up, when to go to this. And plus on top of that, you really need to have a strong music network to be a quality manager. And because of all of this, the money came very, very, very slow. And Ja'Cory needed that money to come a bit faster, so he tried being a music creator. Then he made some money there, but it was hard to scale if you don't live in a major city. Then he tried playlisting, actually made some money again, but the ceiling's low. It's harder to build yourself in the industry and build a respectable brand around yourself. So then he shifted into being a show promoter and that was crazy stressful. 
barely broke even with the money, even though it looks cool. And then when COVID came, him and his partners took that as a sign to officially leave it alone. And after all of this, finally, where I got lucky to start as a music marketer, Ja'Cory, after trying all these jobs, gave music marketing a try. And because he had done so much in music over half a decade, he was able to be pretty good at it from the very beginning. And the cool part about it for him was it checked all the boxes. It allowed him to get out of the jobs that he hated. He could make his schedule however he wanted to, whenever he wanted to, created his own rules, could literally work from anywhere. While at the same time, as a marketer, you get invited to a lot of cool events and meet some of the coolest people but you don't need to know any of these people in the very beginning. You can build your network from zero easily as a marketer because so many people want to talk to the marketers. Many people need help. How can I get attention for my music or my artist? Which led to him making some good, consistent money pretty quickly. And on top of that, he realized that so many music business legends are great marketers, many who started as an artist just like him. Legendary music executive L.A. Reid of LaFace Records was in a music group called The Deal. P. Diddy made music himself even while he was an executive. Roy Carter, who many people know as Lady Gaga's former manager, started off as a rapper. And then Scooter Braun, who discovered Justin Bieber, manages Ariana Grande, managed Kanye, started his entire career as a marketer from day one. So Ja'Cory's looking at these things and realized this is the way to go. But on top of that, there was simply nothing like seeing your own creative ideas impact culture. This clip posted by Snoop Dogg on Instagram is a part of a campaign that Ja'Cory did himself from ground up with the random artist at the time from Tennessee. Not only led it to being posted on Snoop Dogg's page, but Snoop Dogg tagging Drake. It's nothing like that feeling when you see something that comes from your own brain take off in culture and then next thing you know, you have family and friends talking to you about stuff, not even knowing that you were behind it. So Ja'Cory was hooked, he was in it. And just so happened, while Ja'Cory was still managing an artist, that artist performed at my music festival. And that was the first time Ja'Cory and I ever met. And we stayed in contact after his artist performed and eventually realized we had a lot in common, had similar goals, so we linked up. Because even greater, we realized something big. The music industry needs good marketers. Because in addition to the traditional path, the internet created a space where independent artists had a real shot in the industry. You can make your music in your own room. You can just post things on social media and build a fan base. So year after year after year, independent artists were making more and more and more money. And as these opportunities to make more money came, Artists are gonna need somebody that knows how to help them get their music heard and grow their fan base so they can take advantage of all the new opportunities at hand. And once we realize the industry needs good marketers, we also realize because of this, there's not enough good marketers in the music industry. And that's when we created Conjure Brand Agency. And man, I gotta say, just the fun alone that we've been able to have due to our position as music marketers has been completely worth it because work hard, play hard. When you love it, it's all the same. And it's brought us so many cool moments and being covered by magazines, people like Lil Nas X shouting us out, meeting so many cool people, getting plaques, whether it's platinum plaques for songs we've worked on or acknowledgements for what we've done on social media. But it all comes down to when your clients are winning, you win. When you have clients that go from unknown to performing with Miley Cyrus, getting signed by Sony Records, collabing with some of the hottest artists out who are working with Beyonce and Drake, and then being in a position where you can meet Michael Jordan, when your clients are winning like this, it's made it even easier for us to continue to win. And boy, has this been a lot of fun. And many of our peers have looked at us like, yo, how have y'all done all of this so fast? But we realized something pretty early on. There's two type of people that we've seen in music. The grinders who are always talking about, I grind, I work hard, I hustle, I hustle, I hustle, I don't sleep. And then on the other side, there's the rainmakers, the people who are getting money for real. They're well rested, their skin looks impeccable. And they hustle too, but they hustle effectively while the grinders thinking that that makes them a badge of honor are working for years and years and years and still struggling to pay rent. 
and breaking down this dynamic all we knew was we wanted to make it rain and everybody that we looked at who navigated the industry well had mentors we looked at jay-z having jazz o as a mentor early on and when rihanna got in the game jay-z was her mentor and then Usher and Scooter Braun both had Jermaine Dupri. And when Justin Bieber got in the game, he had Usher and Scooter Braun. P. Diddy had Andre Harrell. The list goes on and on. And then when we really broke things down, we realized in many cases, this is true outside of the music industry as well. So we leaned into the music marketing opportunity, but then we found a couple of mentors who could break the game down for us in ways that allowed us to move faster because the music industry is completely counterintuitive in how it works than pretty much every other industry. And as a result, we went from making that first money and getting that bag to making a whole lot of bags. Our business eventually did over a million dollars. And I'll say this. The money I used to make in two full hard years of work is less money than I have in my bank account today. Because while most people try to walk the minefield blind, we wanted to be able to know where all of the problems were so we can navigate around them quickly and even fly over the minefield when we could. And the same goes for you. There's nothing more valuable into getting guidance, but you have the ability to navigate it by yourself. It'll just take a lot longer having to learn all the dynamics and politics and nuances of the music industry as you go, how to actually gain the right skill sets. But sometimes it's more comfortable to just say, hey, I'm going to do it by myself. But understand that that's at the expense of getting results quickly. And you're rolling the dice on your future, because what I didn't mention is before me and Jacory realized, hey, we should get some help with this. We lost a ton of time and money just trying to bump our heads and trial and error everything. So we had to figure out that betting on ourselves didn't mean that we were doing it alone. So if you're down for this path, I'm down to help you out. We're going to show you how to become an asset to artists and labels by thinking like an agile music marketer. You're going to get the skill sets and strategies you need. And then after that, you'll actually be valuable. But then you have to be able to make sure people see that value, which will break down to you and get people to want you on their team. And after we help you become valuable in music, we'll show you how to make sure people see that value and make them love you. This is how you build your name in the music industry so that you build a brand that speaks for you so you don't always have to speak for yourself. Putting you in a position so artists and labels trust you because that's what this game is all about. This is a people industry. It's about trust and relationships. So you're going to have to build out a network which we're going to break down and give you all the keys to doing it quickly so you become an attractive person to work with in this industry. We have tens of thousands of dollars of business that comes to us every single month by surprise, simply because we've built a name in the industry where other people are telling other people about us. But understand this, if you don't have proven skills, people don't trust you in the music industry. And again, as I said, music is all about trust, which is why we're going to show you exactly how to deliver results. And that way you can get the bag. It's not about finding clients and job opportunities. It's about creating those opportunities. And when you do that, you'll turn that one happy client into many, many clients. And we'll show you exactly how to do that down to exactly what to say in meetings. So you get hired and paid. And just to be clear, this is a real screenshot to some $750 might not be a big deal. But to me, every time I get paid in this industry where I get to have so much fun, do so many dope things, it's a huge accomplishment. And the fact that we get paid over and over and over again, whether it's $1,500, $10,000, $15,000 or $500, it all allows me to fund this lifestyle that I love. Especially since at first I didn't know how I was going to do this since I didn't go to school for it. But what I quickly learned was no one cares if you went to school or not. No one cares how hard you're going to try. No one cares how much you quote unquote want it in this industry. And no one's going to give you a handout. All they want is real results, which is what we're going to show you. And I know it might sound wild that most people don't pay attention to school, but literally no one's ever asked me, did I get a degree in what my major is? Largely because they know these schools, when it comes to music, don't even know what's relevant in the industry now. They're teaching some general information. They don't know how to keep up what's happening in the industry in real time. And to be real, 
they don't even understand the culture. If you look at this picture, this dude's wearing a suit where I specifically said I got out of a job that I was working because I had to wear a suit every day. I wanted to be free, dress like this, move how I move. And if I wanted to wear a suit one day, be all spiffy, then I could. But not as some uptight uniform to try to trick people into thinking it made me official. And the craziest thing about it, the in-state tuition for my college that I went to is like $9,000. And most of these schools want you to go to school multiple semesters. So you're paying not just thousands of dollars one time, you're paying thousands of dollars again and again and again, which is why most people need a loan like I did. Meanwhile, none of that matters to help you deliver real results. So with our support, we'll show you how to deliver results confidently, becoming a legit music marketer in 30 days, getting a full music marketer business in a box. And in this 90 day program, we're going to work you towards getting your first clients and we will literally be a part of your team, helping you sell and manage your clients. We basically will be your training wheels until you can take off and continue to build for yourself. Because imagine doing work you love, making good money and establishing a brand presence where people come to you without you having to try. And that's literally the life you live. I can tell you that it's possible because I am now in this position myself. And it's a beautiful thing. So if you want this opportunity to work together, do know that it's application only. We cannot work with everybody. We will not work with everybody. There's only so much time in the day and we're still in the game ourselves, serving clients, closing deals and helping artists grow. If you want to do this for real, make money, listen to music, work in a job that you will love, you must have the right system and skills to generate these type of results that I've mentioned that we've created for our clients. So working with us, you will know exactly how your business and marketing efforts will perform, building your name in the industry and bringing money and opportunities that you can't even imagine. So instead of struggling and struggling and struggling to crack the code, we're going to give you the messaging, targeting, the media approach and systems to crack it. So you can go through this process and be like Simone, who blew up multiple artists in Sweden to over 30 million streams, worked an album that got album of the year nods and it became in the top stream albums over in Sweden and landed major investment in his company from a legendary music exec from Warner Records or like Balika, who's become a gospel music and culture phenomenon. She's a go-to brand in that space who gets interviews with legends, makes over 15K a month and growing from her marketing services that she provides. Or somebody like Sam who worked with us at Contra Brand and has flipped it to being what I believe a legendary management career in the making. He has artists who both have over 1 million monthly listeners, gotten major investment opportunities, has seen a lot of money and now he's actually training his marketing team through this exact same program that I'm talking about now. So in short, we'll be able to help you skip the hard part. You seen Jacory and I had a winding road until we finally figure this out. Both of us over five years of trial and error until we fortunately discovered the system, but they got to start here. It's still work to do, but boy, did you save a lot of waste. And that can be you too. Why go the hard way? You don't have to waste time figuring out yourself because fun fact, just a four digit lock has over 10,000 different combinations. You saw how completely different my path was from Jacory's just to get to the same point, but there's so many potential outcomes and most of them actually do not lead to success. We were lucky to crack the code and you'll get it cracked from day one. So these are just a few of our dream clients. The question is, are you next? If you think this could be you, I want to have a personal custom tailored one on one meeting with you where I can get an understanding of who you are and where you are so I can determine if it makes sense for you to work with us. Because if we have a conversation and I think you're a great fit, then I'll invite you to be able to work with us. But if you're not a great fit, whether it's you who thinks so or I think so, then no harm, no foul. But I promise it'll be one of the most valuable investments of your time for your career this year because I'm going to a breakdown and make it personal to you letting you know what you need to do to move forward now 
The way you'll be able to check this out is below this video, whether it's an application link below this video or if you're watching this on a YouTube page, I'll put this in the description. So then you can click over to the page and then scroll down and apply. But this is application only. We don't let everybody in. So you do have to have a conversation, right? And go through this session if you are interested in working with us. Hope to be able to speak with you. This is such an amazing time in the music industry where we don't only have the rise of indie artists, we have a rise of indie music professionals. And we're looking to help create the new age of music marketing executives. Click the link in the description. Hope to talk soon.